Hello there, and welcome to this template on ABC XYZ analysis. Before we dive into the details, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Alexandra Panic, Head of Product, and I'm thrilled that you're here. Our team at Procurement Tactics, with over 20 years of experience in procurement and negotiations, trains procurement teams for both small and large companies worldwide. We've dedicated our efforts to providing you with a comprehensive insight into category management by using inventory classification through ABC XYZ analysis, and I'll be guiding you throughout this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to unravel the essential aspects of inventory classification in procurement and category management. Inventory classification is not just a task, but a strategic approach crucial for effective inventory control and optimization. Inventory classification is a systematic approach to organizing a company's inventory, and it is at the heart of category management in procurement. This process has a significant impact on procurement decisions, including assortment planning, pricing strategies, and supply chain management, which are all important elements in procurement and category management. Businesses typically categorize inventory into three main types, raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. Each of these categories play a unique role in the production and sales processes. So, what is ABC XYZ Analysis? ABC XYZ Analysis is a popular tool used in procurement and category management to categorize inventory based on two factors. Value, which is the ABC analysis, and demand variability, which is the XYZ analysis. This technique helps us to refine inventory management strategies by providing a dual perspective on inventory's value and demand predictability. It is an efficient way to optimize inventory levels, increase efficiency, and reduce the overall cost of inventory management. First, let's define the two important inventory management concepts. The ABC analysis categorizes items into three groups, a, B, and C, based on their value or importance, which helps prioritize them. The XYZ analysis, on the other hand, categorizes items into X, Y, and Z, based on demand variability, which guides management and control strategies. Why delve into ABC XYZ analysis? This tool can help your company improve your inventory management by allocating resources efficiently, enhancing supply relationships, and optimizing stock levels to meet customer demand without any excess or shortages. The best part about the ABC XYZ analysis is that it's super useful not just for keeping track of the inventory, but also for managing procurement categories. It can guide you to talk to your suppliers, set up inventory policies, and manage risks, helping you in your inventory at the right levels and making the entire supply chain run smoother. How can you perform the ABC XYZ analysis? To effectively utilize the analysis, begin by classifying your products into three categories according to the ABC and XYZ criteria. The A items are the most valuable and important items, typically representing a small percentage of the total items but contributing significantly to the revenue or costs. B items are moderately valuable or important items constituting a moderate percentage of items and revenue. And the C items are the least valuable and important items, often representing a large percentage of the items but contributing less to the revenue or costs. The ABC analysis on the slide categorizes inventory items into three classes, A, B, and C, based on the factors such as sales value, percentage of total inventory, annual consumption rate, required controls, and record keeping. Let's break down the columns of our ABC analysis method on this slide. Type. We categorize inventory into three groups, class A, class B, and class C, based on their importance and contribution to the sales. The next one is importance. This tells us the significance of each type. Class A are high priority, the major profit drivers. Class B items are medium importance. And Class C items, while less critical, are still essential. Percentage of total inventory. 
This shows us the proportion of total stock each class represents, helping you see which items dominant in your inventory. Annual consumption rate. This column is crucial as it indicates the percentage of your annual expenditure each class accounts for, highlighting where most of your budget is going. The next one is controls. This describes the management intensity needed for each class. Class A requires strict control due to high value, Class B has moderate oversight, and Class C has the most relaxed controls. Records. Accuracy in record keeping varies by class. High for Class A, moderate for Class B, and minimal for Class C, reflecting the financial impact on the class. Now for the rows. Class A, the VIP group, making up 10 to 20% of the inventory, but contributing 70 to 80% of the consumption value. These items are closely monitored and accurately recorded. Class B, these form about 30% of the inventory and account for 15 to 20% of the consumption value. The control and record accuracy here are balanced between strict and relaxed. Class C. The largest group by number at 50% of the inventory, but only contributes about 5% to the consumption. Controls and records are minimal, focusing on the volume rather than the value. To calculate the ABC inventory analysis, you can determine the priority of items by multiplying their annual sales volume with their costs. This helps identify high priority items and those with lower profit margins, allowing you to allocate human and financial resources strategically. You can also use the formula for the ABC inventory analysis, which represents the annual sales quantity multiplied by cost per item, which equals the annual value of product usage. Now let's combine it with our XYZ analysis. This is how we categorize our items. X items. These are the items with stable and predictable demand. The demand for these items does not fluctuate significantly. Y items. These are the items with somewhat variable demand. The demand for these items may have some fluctuations. Finally, we have Z items. These are the items with highly unpredictable demand. The demand for these items can be erratic and hard to forecast. Next. Understand the implications of each of the classifications or inventory management strategies focusing on high-value items with predictable demand, AX category, and less significant items with variable demand, CZ category. For a more profound understanding, let's apply this concept pr practically. Let's explain what's in this table. First up, you start with listing out the inventory items in the inventory item column. Say you have laptops, smartphones, or any other product, you'll want to put down an item 1, item 2, and so on. Next up, you assign each item an ABC classification based on the value they are to your business. Class A would be your top tier items. These are the ones bringing the most bucks. Class B items are important, but not as critical. And Class C items, well, they're your lower value products. Once you've categorized them by value, then classify each item by how consistently they sell using the XYZ system. X items are your steady sellers, Y items are the sales that might fluctuate a bit, and Z items are your wild card with very unpredictable sales. So, by filling in this template, you're setting yourself with a clear strategy. It helps you focus your efforts when they're needed most, ensuring that every item is managed just right to meet customer demand efficiently without tying too much capital in unsold stock. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You combine these two classifications for a deeper insight. This combined classification goes into the combined classification column. So, an AX item is both high value and high stable sales. These are your golden eggs. BY items are important, but their sales might go up and down. Think seasonal goods. CZ items are your least valuable and hardest to predict. This might be a clearance items or niche products. Using this table, you prioritize how you manage your inventory. Your AX 
items need the most attention. Good stock control and accurate forecasting are key because they're crucial to your financial health. Your BY and AY items need a good eye on the market trends so you don't add, end up with excess stock or worse, stockouts. And for your CZ and BZ items, you can be a bit more relaxed. Their unpredictability and lower value mean you can afford to take a few risks without too much fallout. Now, even you can utilize this one. Throughout this session, we explored how ABC XYZ analysis not only optimizes inventory levels, but also informs broader procurement strategies, supplier negotiations, and risk management practices. It's all about aligning inventory management with overarching business objectives for maximum efficiency and competitiveness. As we conclude, remember that ABC XYZ analysis is more than a method for managing inventory. It's a comprehensive strategy that enhances decision-making in procurement and category management. It's a tool that sharpens our procurement practices, ensuring we're not just reactive, but strategically ahead. That is all for now. Thank you for joining us in this insightful session on ABC XYZ analysis. I look forward to guiding you through more strategies in our next lessons.